Hey guys, it's Cree. So I'm going to do a tutorial on my current look I'm wearing right now, which is my 1920s flapper look that I wore a few weeks previous to my friend's Gatsby party. So I hope you guys will enjoy. Okay, so I have my foundation on already and I'm going to start my brows. I'm going in with a black powder and like the 1920s brow, I'm going to elongate them past my natural brow line and try to make them as straight as possible because a typical 1920s brow was thin, straight, and long, which is really what I'm just going for here. And to start the eyes, I'm going to prime them with a black liner or personal preference if you want to use a gel liner go for it, but you really just want to get the entire span of your lid covered so that when you put the color on, it's going to look nice, true, and dark. So from there, I'm going in with a small brush and I'm going to blend the pencil up and out. I'm not smearing it across my lid. I'm really just focusing on the very edges and blending that color on the lid up and out to create a nice gradient effect. So the first shadow I'm going to put on is a matte brown shadow. I'm going in with a clean brush and I'm patting that onto the blended edge of the liner just so that I can already start smoking out the eye yet keeping the very lid intact and dark and still slightly damp so it'll catch the black shadow. And we're just going to blend that edge out really nicely so it'll create a really fine smoky eye. Now we're going into the black. With the black you really want to focus onto the lash line and inner corner. The thing with the 1920 shape is that it's very much like a teardrop. You're going to focus inner eye, like the inner corner, and blend it out towards the outer corner because you're going for a very damsel in distress oh woe is me kind of look for your eyes almost sad like so you're going to focus onto the lash line and blend it up and out same with the inner corner you're going to blend it outwards and upwards so that it creates a very fine smoky eye yet you can still see the shape and detail of the teardrop kind of shape to it. As you can see now you can see the teardrop shape starting to take form. I just need to focus more on that. But it looks good to me. Seriously, smoking it up and out. As you can see, I'm really keeping the pigment placed on the lid as much as I can and I'm just not disturbing it. So now I'm taking a slightly larger brush and I mix the brown and the black and I'm really going over that area where it's blended just so it creates a very fine blend and that I have a transition color to the next step I'm doing, which you'll see after this. But I'm really just creating a nice blended edge because you really want it to be a good smoky eye. It's what makes a difference between just placing powder on your face and something that looks very finished. So now I'm going in with the blending brush and the brown again and I'm blending that mixed color upwards and just making it really seamless and smoky and wonderful. After that, I'm going with a fluffy brush and a taupe color. So this taupe color is basically a color close to your skin tone, just one or two shades darker, and you're gonna blend out that brown, so it'll really just make it look wonderfully sooty and purposeful and wonderful and all that good stuff. Except watch out with the taupe because sometimes you can have fallout like me and I have to go back into the black and just really fix that and make it darker and more wonderfully sultry and 
everything. So from there, you're just gonna really blend it. You can go back into the black, you can go back into the brown, you can blend it, and just make it look seamless. I really just wanna stress that. And besides that, you also really want to get that teardrop shape down, like blend it how you may, but just keep going in, starting off light. You don't want to go too heavy because it's harder to fix and just work it darker and blend it, blend it wonderfully. You have to practice, but blending. <laughs> oh man, I need a script for this, huh? I'm really bad at voiceover work. Okay. Well, from there, we are going to the bottom lash line. So we're starting off with a black pencil again, priming, prepping, making everything darker. And we're gonna go from outer corner to right in the middle where your pupil is. Then I'm also relining my lash line so that my lash line is very well blended to the shadow on top. Now I'm going to set the bottom liner with my matte black shadow again so that you don't end up with raccoon eyes and teary streaks and all that stuff you don't want. You want smoky eyes, not raccoon eyes. There's a big difference. So blending that out to the midpoint again just so you don't close off your eye. So from there I'm going in with the matte brown and I'm going to blend out the black and I'm going to take that brown and pull it towards the inner corner. Thus, I'm closing the eye, but not in a way that is going to make my eye completely small and hooded and hidden, but in a way that it adds dimension. Oh, such a pretty smoky eye. Ah, okay. Well, from there, I'm going into the taupe color, same brush, doesn't matter, and I'm gonna blend out that brown just so that it has a wonderful transition, no edge, and everything looks nice and clean and wonderful. Now I'm cleaning up underneath my eye with a vanilla color, then using that same vanilla color under my eyebrow to create a highlight and also to blend the edges more on the outer side so that I really do have that tear shape look. All good. Now this is an optional step. Blah, blah, blah. Optional step. Well, what is speaking? Okay, so I'm lining my eyes. It's not a traditional 1920s makeup step, but it's something I'm more comfortable with because it makes my eyes look bigger and it'll hide my false eyelashes. Looks good. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna do mascara. Mascara is something you just have to do because otherwise your lashes and your features will get lost and it's just not gonna look complete. So use mascara. Yep. Now I have my false lashes put on and now I'm gonna focus on my lips. For the lips, you're really going to arch those cupid bows that you have, which are those two little arches on your lip. So from those cupid bows, you're gonna go straight down with the liner because you're not going to follow your natural lip shape at all. You're gonna create this more dainty look that's very typical of the 1920s. And for me, I'm doing my own little twist and doing a gradient. So I'm filling in the rest of my lip with that plum color I'm using just so that I can fill it in later with a more red color to create more dimension and just liven up the look a bit more and make it a bit more modern. Now for the bottom lip, you don't have to worry about drawing the shape or anything. You can follow your natural lip line and make it as pouty as you want because yeah, once again, typical 1920 shape. You can follow your natural bottom lip line. Now for me, I'm still doing the gradient so like the top I'm doing the same to the bottom and just filling in the outer corners. Now I'm going in with a red pencil or you could use a red lipstick whatever you want just filling in the center making it a nice gradient. Ooh la la looks good to me. Anyways you don't have to worry about perfection because 
at least for me, I'm putting on lip gloss, and lip gloss hides all mistakes. To finish off the lip look, I'm going in with a white eyeliner. And I do this whenever I wear dark looks, but especially for this one, because it really makes the lips pop. And since I drew in my lip shape, we're going to make it look a bit more natural, like there's a natural highlight where that lip line is. And it just really finishes it off. So follow the lip liner and keep it thin and it'll look amazing. Finishing off the look with typical 1920s blush. Now, unlike our blush now, we're not blending it towards the ear. We're keeping it strictly right on the apples of the cheek and blending in a circular motion. Now, I was reading a 1920s book. You can also do what I'm doing and do up and down because it does fit the era and it does elongate your face. Ooh, pretty blush, pretty blush, pretty blush. The look is really starting to come together. So pretty. Okay, now my final step is just setting it all with my setting powder. And we're good to go. How am I sexy mama? Sexy mama! Oh, gosh, the look is so pretty. So nice and black and white. Yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully I can do a better job with my next few tutorials because this is my first one. So that's it. Bye guys.